I want to show y'all something that's kind of concerning. Uh, first of all, this is not concerning. This little girl's doing great. <laughs> She's going to plop it down right there. Uh, I dare you to have one sip of that. Never in a million years. No. Why? No. It's nice and warm. That's, that's why, no. All right, let's go over and see what's going on with baby now. <sighs> Come on, Jamie Cakes. Jamie's trying to work today, but between calls, she has to feed baby. <laughs> Stella, I have one minute. She has one minute before her next call, and she's trying to rush this baby to eat right quick. Keep going. Don't stop. She, oh, boy. Oh, boy. You just squirted yourself right in the... Yeah, that's great. Right between the boobs. Oh, <sighs> Starla. We're on our way to the vet's office with our sweet, beautiful little Starla because we had an incident last night. I'm actually gonna call it an accident. Starla. Starla got stepped on by one of our donkeys. We had put the donkeys in there with the goats and the birds and uh, Ruby. Everyone was in there together because we're so darn worried about them coyotes coming back at night and safety's in numbers. And if they don't end up getting in there around that stall and someone stepped on her, stepped on her little hoof there at the bottom. So, you know, the crazy thing is I was just saying in our live on Sunday how everybody's doing great. We're so blessed. All the animals are healthy at both properties and darn uh, but I reminded everybody that, hey, but we already know that life will not stay that way because that's not how it works. I'm headed to a vet's office now that's going to be full of dogs and cats and other critters that are not doing well because, guys, life happens. And I can go by any emergency room and there'll be, there'll be kids and elderly and folks who've had accidents because things happen in life. And you go by any hospital and rooms will be full of folks that are not doing well from different diseases and because life happens. And farm life is no different. The difference is we tell you what's happening. We show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. We don't hide it. And so we've had another incident, an accident. It's nothing that, there was no neglect. There was nothing that we would have changed in hindsight except maybe making it to where the, where the donkeys could not go inside the same loafing shed as the goats. But anyway, we feel horrible about this. We're hoping that she'll be okay, but we're on our way to the vet now. They'll do x-rays, I'm certain, and we'll go from there. Sorry. Y'all, I'm just sorry. That, and I'm sorry that this happened to her. And I'm sorry that you don't understand that life happens. And y'all forget sometimes that life happens. And we all go through ups and downs. And sometimes they say when it rains, it pours. Because those downs can happen one behind another. Seriously, one behind another. Anyway, y'all say a prayer for Starla. Look at all these folks waiting here behind me. Because life happened to them too. Life happens, y'all. That's what's going on right there. Let me get inside and we'll have a better look at it. I'm able to get a little bit better video here. You can see right there where the donkey stepped and it kind of like split the toe. And I don't know if that's a bone or if that's just some kind of something else. And I don't know what's going on back here either. But I know it must be painful. You always worry about goats more than, I, I think you worry about goats more than any other animal really because they don't have much of a will to live. <laughs> they don't, yeah, I'm not making that up. Goats do not have much of a will to live. So if you have a goat who goes down for, for anything, you gotta really keep their little minds going, give them something to live for. Because they, I know, baby, you got a lot to live for. You're going to have a great life ahead of you. Oh, I know. It's so sad. It is the saddest thing ever. I had to hand her off. 
All right, let's see what's gonna happen here. Gonna try to lay her down. Yeah, I'll try I'm to lay down. Oh boy. Oh. 7.6. Okay. That's the saddest <laughs> thing ever, sweetie. Oh, oh my so god. I know, isn't she sweet? She's being yeah. so quiet. She's not like screaming or hollering, but you can kind of feel her heart beating 100 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that kind of sad? She's so cute. Her color looks good, though. Yeah, and, and, and she's eating. She, she ate good. this morning twice. That's good. So that's what I was saying in the car in my video is that uh, I think that as long as she's yeah. eating, I don't think it's like major, but it looks major. If and you just look at pretty, it, it looks horrible. Looks pretty gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll definitely take x-rays. How old are you? Gnarly? <laughs> I, I ain't heard that word in a while. I didn't even know you knew that word. Yeah. That's from my generation. You ain't my age. I'm about to be 27. You're, you're a baby. Gnarly. <laughs> it is gnarly. How do you spell I'm gnarly? School, okay? How do you spell gnarly? Spell it, because I'm going to put that as my title. N-A-R-L-E-Y. No, that's not how you spell it. There's no K in it. I think there's a K. No, I think there is a silent K. No. Gnarly. I'm going to look it up while y'all got her in the back. Well, they would not let me wait around at the vet's office, but they did promise to get me some good video. Uh, in the meantime, I swung by to get some chicken from my dad. He's home alone. My mom and Ben are traveling this week, so dad's home by himself, which means he'll be eating ramen noodle unless people step up and help him out. Or at least that's, that's what he tells us. Maybe he makes us feel sorry for him. But anyway, um, I thought I would swing by and get some chicken, take it over to dad, drop that off, and then we'll be waiting for our phone call to come back and pick up our sweet girl. I will say I'm a little bit nervous. They said if it's broke, there might have to be some casting and you know all of that stuff like we had with Pebbles. So I got my fingers crossed she'll be okay. And um, just so sorry about that. You know, what can you do though? Boy, ain't you fancy. Now I know you got some hard work with all that air blowing right in your face. That nice cooler. I brought you chicken. Yeah, I feel bad for you. Okay, well, I know you're over here eating ramen noodle the whole weekend. Okay, okay. we're taking a peek at Starla here. I heard she got stepped on by a donkey. And that she is three days old. Three days old, so young, young baby. Okay. okay. She's already calling me mom. What? Mom is right here. Stand up so I can reach your heart. Okay. So just kind of support her. Do they know if she's been nursing? Yeah, or I think he's bottle feeding her. Okay. Okay, you can stop it. We're just gently trimming. I know, Sweetie. So that we can see exactly what's going on down here towards the foot. So I know she's got kind of almost like degloved on this claw. That means that the capsule around that dew claw is like pulled off, almost like her toenails been ripped off. I know. It's got this. I know. I'm being gentle as I can be. So sometimes people think about sedating one like this. I kind of hate to sedate her just because she's a little baby. They're kind of delicate. If I can get away without sedation, I'm gonna try. I know. Okay, I have most of her foot shaved. Look away if you were squeamish. This is your warning, Lester, and then me blank this out. The thing I don't love about this foot, first of all, is how deep that is. That makes me very nervous that we're in joints. Joints are a lot harder to treat. The other thing is this tissue is very dark and it stinks, it stinks, stinks, stinks. And so I'm a little bit afraid that some of this tissue might be ready to die. This is her little degloved dew claw. So this is the actual fleshy part. And this is the dew claw itself. I'm just a little on the fence about all of this. Okay, so Dr. Cochran wants us to get x-rays to see how bad it's broken, if it's broken or just bent weird, but it's more than likely probably gonna be broken. I don't know for sure. Um, I have limited experience with orthopedic procedures in goats and a lot of owners don't tend to do these and that's why I'm not sure. So I may consult somebody and see kind of what are the options for her. If I do something like a toe amputation, that may be possible. The problem is that she's a young baby and a lot of times if you're really small like that, it's easier to have complications with anesthesia. So it's something to consider though. I may call somebody and kind of see what their thoughts are. I discussed Starla's case with another doctor that's been working on goats for a really long time 
Her thoughts are that it's probably better to take this two off sooner rather than later because we're only going to risk the promise of secondary infection. And so what we're probably going to try to do is take this bone right here, at least this end half off, so cut it like right about right here and take the rest of the toe. Everything that's under my finger should be gone. Um, at that time, we'll also be managing her with antibiotics, or until that time, we'll be managing her with antibiotics and pain medication. After we finish the surgery, she'll have a bandage. We'll have to make sure it's not wrapped too tight, and hopefully she'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm taking care of Starla again. We're just cleaning this wound out as best we can. I'm trying not to stress her out, so we're trying to make it as painless as possible. We are talking about taking this toe off. Um, so that we don't have problems with this thing getting infected. Because right now, I think some of the tissue in this toe is dying. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to turn it around without taking it off. Thank you. No, it's okay. So, taking this toe off, we will be taking off the most proximal, that means the closest to the rest of her body, toe, and leave this medial claw. So she'll be able to stand on this one. So one of the big concerns I have is a complication of this surgery. I don't know exactly how well I'm gonna be able to get this to close because a lot of the tissue kind of between these toes is affected and it's bruised. And so one of the problems that we may or may not run into if we take this toe off is whether or not the sutures break open and we don't heal like we should. Now we can manage an open wound, but it's definitely something that's not quite as smooth as just take it off and sew it up and be done. All right, so we are now officially live. I am here with Dr. Cochran, Savannah. How's it going? <laughs> and of course, we have our beautiful Starla, who's milk drunk. She's milk drunk because uh, Savannah just fed her. That's Dr. Cochran. I'm Savannah. No, but you, she's you, the I, I'm showing the bottle. Savannah <laughs> yeah. just fed her all that bottle, and she is so milk drunk right now. Camera over, and we're going to talk about what's going on with this beautiful baby here. Okay, Dr. Cochran, uh... All attention, so then let me move your. That's fine. All That's eyes are side. on this little foot over here. Can you talk about what's going on with this thing? So this toe, first of all, it's broken. So the goat is going to have three bones in this toe, just yeah. like we do in our fingers. Okay. These two bones, based on our X-rays, are out of place. They're off to the side and they're detached. Okay. And I think some of the tendons that hold it where it's supposed to be are also broken and detached. Okay. The thing that bothers me the most about this toe, though, is not necessarily the orthopedic problem. It's more so that this tissue, the skin, is kind of discolored. This toe is colder than the other toe, and it has an odor. It has an odor, so we're thinking there's dead tissue. Could I walk on this side of you and look? And so if there's dead tissue, this is what everyone's going to be asking. What are your plans? So we are planning on amputating this toe. So well, I don't think that a lot of this tissue is gonna, if it's dead, it's not coming back. Right. And the idea is to limit as much, basically as much as this can communicate with the rest of our body as possible. And so the idea is when we take off this toe, just in order to get the most skin possible, I'm yeah. probably gonna take off all three digits so she'll have a complete finger amputation. So this side. will stay. Correct. But this will leave. Mm -hmm. And these over here, the little- Do claws. Do claws? Mm -hmm will stay or go? They will stay. So this one over here has also been affected by her little accident. Okay. The, it's almost like she's pulled her fingernail off. Yeah. I don't think there's much to do this one other than just topical management with like antibiotics, keeping it clean. Okay. This will probably heal on its own given it time. All right. Like I said, a lot of this is just pulled away. Okay. It's this one that needs the most intervention. I'm sorry, I'm looking at her when you talk. Yeah, she's just like, so she's like, how long till I get to go home? <laughs> um, and so we, Savannah, you were saying we need to keep this super clean. Yes. Because we can't get our appointment to get the surgery until the next available date. Right. So that can't happen right away. So in the meantime, we have to keep that. Are you going to show me the cleaning solution? And then put some SSD cream on it. Okay. And those two things over there will keep the, I'm just going to say dying tissue. Can I say dying tissue? Yeah. That sounds better than dead tissue. Here's, here's dead tissue need. reminds me of the walking dead. I don't want to think of her as the walking, even though right now, look at this look she's giving me. She's good. Here's the thing that, here's the thing that we have to keep in mind. If yeah. I, could, I could sedate her, right, intermittently and clean this up, but she's a tiny goat. And yeah. Anytime you do anesthesia for any patient, there's a risk of anesthesia. When yes. you talk about doing it on a baby like yeah. this, and especially repeated events, you're increasing the risk of her overall too. So this is one of those things where it's like, we don't live in a perfect world and I wish that it could be perfect, but it's yeah. not. 
And so she's in for our earliest available surgery date, and okay. we're going to take that toe off. And in the meantime, she's going to be managed on systemic antibiotics and an anti-inflammatory. And then you also suggested that we keep her out of the pasture and keep it as clean as possible. But you also said, let her be a goat. Don't try to hold her down. Allow her to be a goat. And if she wants to be up and moving, then let her be up and moving. Right. So one of the other things that we run into, particularly with our goats, yeah. is they stress. And stress is not good for healing. No, it's no, not good no. for immune systems, things like that. Fortunately, okay. we're not with her fighting any kind of failure of passive transfer. She got a lot of colostrum, it looks like, from mom. And she's got an immune system. Okay, that's But anytime good. you have stress, it reduces the body's ability to protect itself and the body's ability to heal. So let her be a goat. So let's Don't... let her be a goat. Okay. Okay, well, ladies, thank you all so much for helping me with that live right there. You said what I could have never said. It would come out all wrong. And so I'm glad. <laughs> she is and thank you all. Good. Thank you all for seeing her today. No problem. Who is this kind lady here who's off in the background behind us? This is Brianna. Is she in training? She is a secondary <gasps> student. She's a first oh year in training. Oh, my goodness. So does she know why I got my camera out? She does. Okay. I told her about you last week. We're not a weird, I'm not a, just a weird old creepy old man. She's oh, been calling me mom all day. She's been calling me mom. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's been driving y'all crazy, hasn't she? No, and making every dog bark. I mean, every dog has been barking and going crazy because of her little scream. <laughs> she's kind of spoiled y'all, if you haven't noticed. I like yes. her a lot. Y'all like her name, Starla? Yeah, I do. I named her, and I'm not letting anyone take that away from me. No. Oh, my gosh. Starla. Everyone takes my names away, but I'm like, Starla is staying Starla. Hey, Brutus. Tell him the Brutus. <laughs> <laughs> everyone loved that part of the video. Can I look at her toe while you're sitting there yep. doing that? Doctor, you want to talk to me about this a little bit? Yeah. So, this toe, what I'm worried about, first of all, the dew claw is ripped off. This will probably heal on its own if we give it some time. So, one side, the dew claw, the ink, the ink will heal. I do. Is this a second dew claw? It is. This second dew claw. So, this is, these are their fingers, and they uh -huh. kind of stand on their fingers like this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this is a finger, this is a finger, this is a finger, and this is a finger. Okay. This one, it's like she's got her nail ripped off. If we get that time, it'll do what it's going to do, and it'll probably be yeah. fine. But that there... This is the scary part. So there is a tendon that I can see. It's that white thing. If yeah, I see it. I see foot. it. Okay. I thought it was a bone. No, when that's I first a tendon. Came running. Okay. This toe, can you tell how floppy it is? First of all, it's also colder than this toe. Uh -huh. I don't think it's very well vascularized. I think when she got stepped on, the blood supply got cut off a little bit. Which probably makes sense for a large, you know, a big old donkey. Right. The other issue that we ran into when we take those x-rays, there's three bones in this foot. Okay. There's one down here, yeah. one here, and one here. Okay. Okay, and all those are the finger bones that correlate with this bone, this bone, and this bone. Hey, hold on. Who invited this guy here behind me? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just walk around the vet's office and yeah. you... Yeah. I'm a frequent, I'm a frequent customer. <laughs> he's, he's a frequent flyer. So, look at my little goat. Jay. On her, these two bones on this toe over here are both just okay. out of place, off to the side. The problem is, is for one, with as much skin as we have compromised here, yeah. I don't think I'm just going to be able to take off this. I think I'm also going to have to take off this. So, how far up are we talking? Like We're talking about an incision or? possibly that's going to go probably up to here ish. Yeah. The skin incision may be smaller, hopefully, than we think. Yeah. Because I'm going to try to kind of go back into the toe and cut it off. If now, it will she be able to walk with that one toe? Yes. So, it's going to put a lot more pressure on that. She's yeah. higher risk of things like arthritis as she ages, but hey, it's better yeah. than. Oh, yeah. Well, on the dead toe. And then, Jake, what are you up to? I just had to get some content real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does he tip y'all well? No. Okay. <laughs> I got that on video. Well, we are home with one baby. And uh, that's a shame. We're going to have to do a lot of TLC with her to get her to full health after all of this. But let me flip my camera and show you something really cute. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Who comes home to a little longhorn hanging out under a bush? Who comes home to seeing longhorns hanging out under bushes? And there sits Mama. I was watching her. You're watching her? Is she trying to get out of the weather? Yep. We got a tiny drizzle of rain. Just a smidge. Just a smidge, but hey. That's just God's way of saying, I'm still in charge, not you, sucker. If we don't have hard enough time keeping the dogs out of there, now we have a little longhorn. And she, yeah, we thought the dogs were bad. Oh my God, baby. 
<laughs> Christmas, why don't you run her out of there? Christmas is in full-blown disbelief. Get your face out of there. Oh. oh. I just hear stems are breaking. Don't do it, though. <laughs> Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.